so welcome back to the channel girls and boys uh, I have been uh, a, a bit absent in the last uh, few weeks uh, that's because I was on holiday a much deserved and much appreciated holiday by the way if you want to find out more about my adventures uh, and city breaks I will put a link around here to all my trips maybe you find something interesting so then uh, that being out of the way let's ease into things I have here a Lumix a Panasonic Lumix camera this is the TZ30 model now obviously as you can see this doesn't seem too promising this camera has seen better days but I'm going to talk about the uh, the aesthetics and the build quality since I don't have anything else to show you right now uh, more on that later on so I have here three different uh, cameras um, three different generations here is the TZ7 one of the first DZ uh, models that I have used and uh, it's been the well the best all-rounder I would say uh, not in performance necessarily but in the way it's built and the handling and so on the premium feel and stuff like that next there's the ultra compact and uh, very light ZX1 and then we have another uh, well, a more modern uh, example. This is the TZ22 and this has a GPS uh, handles the location and then tags your photos, shows you where you take where you took the pictures. Now here is the TZ30 and this is supposed to be the next generation, but upon first inspection and uh, first uh, feel this is a bit more plasticky than the previous generation at least this still had a me metal bezel around the chassis or at least it felt me metallic this one though is clearly a plastic you could just feel it the the heat transfer and the 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 weight and the tactile um, sensation to it clearly indicates plastic and this is a huge letdown granted it has taken me quite a lot of time to get hold of a TZ30 uh, I don't know why that is probably because by the time I could afford them they weren't that relevant uh, in terms of specs so yeah it's just something I you know I collect and I figured I would get this TZ30 I managed to uh, acquire it for about five or six euros and I, I, I figured it's worth the risk but sadly it's not really because have a look it turns on but it's got an error system for the zoom meaning that this uh, assembly here for the lens is not really working now what this means is that <laughs> this Lumix camera is well it's another dead weight because it would take me too much time and money to fix it I would have to acquire the parts and uh, disassemble this uh, Lumix camera and uh, figure out a way to uh, well to fix it watch tutorials and stuff like that and unfortunately I don't really have the time for that so I guess it's another break that holds the foundation to my pit of despair and out it goes I know it's a rather disappointing <laughs> small clip I apologize about this um, on the upside you get to see my other Lumix cameras here but I promise I will keep you posted with more interesting stuff along the way so as always thanks for watching and remember I collect hoard and sometimes borrow weird quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this plethora of Lumix cameras so you don't have to Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.